At the press briefing, President Moon explained what the two Koreas will be doing now that their leaders have met for the second time. There appears to be a renewed focus on fulfilling the commitments made in their big agreement reached at last month's summit, the Panmunjom Declaration, which called for, among other things, lowering tensions and bringing together families separated by the Korean War. Cha sang reports. A month after President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed the April 27th Panmunjom Declaration at their first historic summit, the declaration has been given a new impetus. At their surprise summit Saturday at the demilitarized zone, the leaders of the two Koreas discussed joint follow-up efforts to come. According to the declaration, military talks are to alleviate acute military tensions and eliminate the danger of war on the Korean Peninsula. The Inter-Korean Red Cross meeting is to ensure that reunions for separated families are scheduled for National Liberation Day on August 15th this year. Stressing on the significance of the promptness and informality of the latest meeting, President Moon said both sides were ready to talk on the phone or meet anytime they need to. President Moon added that he had for a long time pushed for regular meetings between the leadership of the two sides to resolve conflict and tensions, and that his desire to do so is reflected in the Panmunjom Declaration. Looking back on some important progress made already, he said the Winter Olympics held this year in Pyeongchang became a Peace Olympics and that a new path to peace and prosperity was created at the summit in Panmunjom, a site that had been a symbol of tension and confrontation. President Moon says the direction of history is now changing. If the declaration of April 27th is fulfilled, then ordinary Koreans might no longer have to live with a deeply rooted, constant fear of conflict. Cha Sang-mi. Arirang News.